Queensland, Australia has uh, recognized and heard of the great efforts that the uh, British Columbia government has made in streamlining regulatory requirements and want, want to know how they can uh, do that. So BC has led the nation in regulatory reform. My uh, goal is to make sure we don't let our um, foot off the gas, but we continue to make um, uh, forward uh, you know, movements to ensure that we don't let regulations start creeping in and we don't do things that um, present you know, uh, business owners with uh, red tape and um, barriers to being productive and spending their time doing things other than to um, report unnecessarily to government. バンクーバーの女性事業者が集い発足した日系女性起業家協会が今年で早15周年を迎えるまでに至りこれを記念し BC 州政府にてスモールビジネスの支援に努める山本直美大臣を迎え講演会を行いました2009年に BC 州政府総選挙で初の日系女性として当選する以前は経営者としてデザイン関連事業に関わりこの間ノースショアクレジットユニオンの理事をはじめ BC 州商工会議所会長ほか数多くの団体に加わるなどしこれまでさまざまな功績を収めてきました今回の講演は BC 州におけるこれからのスモールビジネスの発展日系女性への提案を内容とし話が進められました This organization was created Um, um, by the request of a, a former council, council general. And I think he would be very proud to see how the organization has grown. And uh, I'm not familiar, who, familiar with that uh, former council general, but I did have a, a good working relationship with uh, the most recent council general, uh, Council General Ito, and we wish him, I'm sure, all the best in his new, new job. My um, mother and father were born in, in British Columbia. And my,、uh, and I was born here, and my grandmother was born here. So my, my great grandmother、uh, came over to Canada many years ago. My, gran my grandfather, or both grandfathers, were in the fishing industry, and、uh, they,、um, they were fishermen and packers, fish packers.、Uh, and my parents, my father, Uh, went to the University of British Columbia. He has a PhD in, in biochemistry and became a research scientist. He was very disappointed that none of the children <laughs> went into the sciences. And he still doesn't believe that I went to university and got a good degree because it was in the arts. But I think it is quite stereotypical, I think, of a lot of Japanese Canadian parents and the pressures that they put on the children to go into、uh, science, business, or medicine,、uh, which I, I, did, I did not do any of that. I do know that they're proud of, my parents are proud of me,、uh, but I,、um, I, I know that、um, I got my entrepreneurial spirit from my, my parents. After my father decided not to、uh, continue on in basic research and applied science, he started a consulting business. And he and my mother mortgaged their house and decided to、um, invest in a Japan camera, one hour photo finishing business. And、uh, we were the first、uh, to have、uh, one hour photo finishing in North Vancouver, one of the very few in the Lower Mainland. And、uh, we saw the end of that business when、uh, we saw everybody with digital cameras. <laughs> Who takes pictures with film anymore? <laughs> Not very many people. Anyways, it is an honor and a privilege to、uh, be amongst such interesting, passionate people. Who are、uh, working business women. And I see men in the, in the audience as well.、Uh, but my, my comments probably will reflect more of、uh, my experience as a woman and, and speaking to the women in the, in the group. So forgive me. I do truly commend you for the incredible amount of work that you do to run your businesses. I know that running a business is one of the hardest 
things that you can do. Because you're also mothers, or in my case, aunts. You are also um, probably volunteering in, uh, in your community, or the Rotary Club, or in the church, or in the temple. And I know that all those things are important to you as well. So not only are you business women, you are also wearing many, many other hats. But I also know that running your own business is one of the most rewarding things that you can do. And I congratulate you uh, for taking the uh, risk to start your own business. I also know that I talk about, as Minister of State for Small Business, how important it is for government to provide an environment for businesses to thrive and grow. But I also know that in a lot of cases, Small businesses are just trying to survive. And I know that as a small business owner, more than once, I kept my paycheck in my pocket to ensure that my employees were paid first. I know that many of you uh, speak English as a second language. Some of you are new to Canada. Some of you have been here for a few years. And I'm sure some of you, a lot of you, may have been born here. But you've turned those challenges into assets, and your businesses are thriving, and congratulations to you. And I'm not sure if you are aware of this statistic, but really it's only recently that women have joined the um, entrepreneurial world. And I know that as women we face discrimination and sometimes self-doubt, but that's changing. Four out of five businesses in Canada are started by women. Four out of five. And I don't have a recent statistic, but I also do know that women have a um, better chance of succeeding in their business, a slightly better chance than men. And it's something to do with paying more attention to detail and being very cautious and not expanding too fast. 女性から、そうですね、もう20年以上前から、あの、みんなで一応女性が集まって、お互いに、いろいろと、あの、そうですね、事業の内容を交換したり、助け合ったりすることができればいいなんて思っていたんですけれど、たまたま、あの、送料時